Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this super easy and pretty lanyard. You can of course make it even longer or shorter. This is totally up to you. This one fits perfectly around my wrist and it's so pretty and super easy to crochet. And now I will show you what we need and how to crochet this pretty lanyard. Today I'm using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. You also need a pair of scissors, a darning needle, and I ordered those pieces here. They have it in many different colors. Of course, you can use any carabiners you would like. And the yarn I'm using today is 100% acrylic yarn. It's the Himalaya Anti-Peeling, and the recommended hook size is a 3.5 millimeter and that's what i'm using today of course you could use any yarn you would like and the recommended hook size and now let's get started we will start with a slip knot and chain six so one two three four five and six for the first row, we will be inserting our hook into the second stitch. So insert into the second stitch, grab the yarn and pull up. Go into the next stitch, grab the yarn and pull up. And since we started we, with six chains, we will have six loops on the hook. So four, Five, and into the last stitch six now for the back row we will grab the yarn go only through the first loop just like this now grab the yarn pull through two loops grab the yarn pull through two grab the yarn pull through two loops all the way until you have one loop left so grab the yarn and pull through two we have one loop left and we just finished the first two rows now we will start with the pattern so we will always start with a chain one now we will go into the next stitch right here grab the yarn pull up and chain one now we will go between the third and the fourth stitch right here so you see we worked and we chained one went into the next stitch and now we'll be working between the third and the fourth stitch we will yarn over insert in the middle grab the yarn and pull up we will need a total of four yarn overs so this was our first grab the yarn insert grab the yarn pull up two three and four now we will skip the stitch right here and go into the fifth one so insert Grab the yarn, pull up, and chain one. Now we are in our last stitch, which is our border stitch. So we will insert a hook through the last stitch. You will always have two loops on the hook. Grab the yarn and pull up. Now for the back row, we will be chaining two. So one and two. Now grab the yarn, pull through two loops, and now we will need to find the middle, which are four loops. So grab the yarn, pull through until you're in the middle, and now chain one. Now grab the yarn and go through the next four loops just like this 
grab the yarn, pull through two, and grab the yarn and pull through two. It might be a little bit difficult um, for the first two or three rows, but you will see once you get the hang of it, it's so easy and it works up really, really fast. So again, we will always start with the chain one. Now we will go into the stitch right here. We will grab the yarn, pull up and chain one. We are doing the chain one to get to the height from our puff stitches. Now, if you pull them, since we chained one in the middle, we have to go in between the puff stitches. So again, yarn over, insert, through the middle, grab the yarn, pull up. This was our first time, our second, our third, and fourth, just like this. Now we will go into the stitch right here, grab the yarn, pull up, and chain one. Now we are at the end of our row again, so we will insert into the last stitch, grab the yarn, and pull up. Now for the back row, you will always chain two. So one and two. Now you will grab the yarn, pull through two loops, grab the yarn, pull through until you reach the middle of your puffs, divide them by a chain one, grab the yarn, go through your last four loops, just like this, grab the yarn, pull through two, and grab the yarn and pull through two. And this is our repeat. All you have to do is repeat those two rows. Just to make sure, I will show you one more time. So again, chain one, go into the stitch right here, grab the yarn, pull up, chain one, between the puff, stitch right here, you will yarn over, insert, grab the yarn, pull up, yarn over, grab the yarn, pull up, four times. So three and four. Now again, into the next stitch right here, grab the yarn, pull up, chain one, and now we're at the border stitch, so you will Go through both loops. I hope you can see it. Grab the yarn and pull up. And for the back row, you will always chain two, grab the yarn, pull through two, grab the yarn, pull through until you reach the middle of your puff stitch. To divide them, you will chain one. Now grab the yarn again pull through the other loops, just like this. And now pull through two, grab the yarn and pull through two. And this is what we have to repeat those two rows until you have the desired length you want. You can make a short one or a long one. This is totally up to you. And I will repeat those two rows and I see you back in just a moment. And this is what it looks like. I really, really love those stitches. And now I reached about 11.8 inches. I'm going to fold it in half. So this is the length I want. Of course, you can make it even longer. This is totally up to you. But before we finish up here, we are going to uh, sew in our yarn end. So we will need a darning needle, pull it through. And now I will go, here is the front side, here is the back. And I will just go through some stitches like this. Through. Don't pull too tight. Now I'm going to the opposite direction. 
pull through and again in the opposite direction. Just like this. And now I can cut the yarn. Now we will finish off. I'm going back into my loop right here and I'm going into the stitch just like we usually did. Grab the yarn and work a slip stitch. I will go in between the puffs, grab the yarn and work a slip stitch. Go into the next stitch, <coughs> grab the yarn and work a slip stitch and into the last stitch right here, into the border stitch, grab the yarn and also a slip stitch. Now I'm going to pull the yarn up, move the hook, turn it around and fold it in half. Just like this. I always like to work from the right to the left. So I'm going to insert into the first stitch, pull the yarn to the back, grab the loop and pull through. Now I'm going to chain one. We will go into the next stitch, also on the opposite side, right here. Grab the yarn, pull through and work a single crochet. Again into the next stitch, into the opposite. Just take your time, make sure it's all nice and even. Grab the yarn, pull through and a single crochet. Again through the next one, also on the opposite side, pull up, work a single crochet <coughs> and into the last one right here. And now the both sides are Connected, we're going to chain one, turn the work around, and again work one single crochet in every single crochet from the previous round row. Just like this. And I have four stitches, and now we can attach our. I'm at the end of this row. Now chain one, turn your work around, insert your hook into the very first single crochet, go through, grab the yarn, pull through and work a single crochet. Now go into the next stitch, again go through and work a single crochet. Also, you will have four single crochets right here. So three and into the last one, our fourth. Now it's attached and all we have to do is chain one, pull tight and cut the yarn. Grab your crochet hook, pull it all the way through, and now it's secured. And all we have to do is sew in the yarn end. And we are done. I also made one in another color and I just really, really love the way it looks. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a great time crocheting and I hope to see you back soon.
Bye.